young kids here tonight? Anybody, uh, anybody with some drug problems? Anybody? <laughs> Don't do drugs, kids. Do you do drugs, son? <laughs> you can tell me. He doesn't hear so well. Badgers are notoriously bad at hearing things. Do you, ever, do you have a vice? Do you got a, a vice besides shorts on a 32 degree night? Do you have any other vices? You don't have any kind of vice? That's good. Don't do drugs. Young people should not do drugs. You have too much to lose. It's old people that should try them. When I'm 97, I'm gonna be dropping acid every day. I get used to this. I love it when people say that. People that say that are always really drunk at a hotel pool at 10 a.m. on a Tuesday. They're like, I can get used to this. It's like, you know what? It seems like you really kind of have gotten used to that. Maybe a little too used to it. You know what you've never got used to? A job. Do we have people that work here this evening? Anybody uh, work? Yeah? What do we got back here, sir? Right there. What do you do for a living, sir? I uh, was a manager of a BYU. Uh, a manager of a B? Yeah, BYU of copy centers. A BYU copy center. Okay, yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, you were about to applaud the copy center. Like, yeah, we make copies. That guy's not from here. Eight years, we don't care. Copies, that's great, man. Was that a dream years growing up? Being a copy guy? Uh, pretty much. Pretty much? <laughs> like I said earlier, how low are your expectations? <laughs> this man was applauding the survival of the flight. Sir, uh, what about being a rock star? You, did you consider that? I mean, I think... I think every moment you can't be a rock star, when you realize that, your life is just a series of compromises. I mean, nobody's, nobody's ever said, dude, the other night, we partied like copy makers. So did you take one of those machines home with you, sir? No? Okay, and, uh, and do you miss it? You do. Just the smell of the ink in the morning. Or the fact that it gets jammed up every time and you're the only guy that can fix it in the entire universe? I hate copy machines. You are a different breed, man. You're a breed apart. What do you miss about it, sir? The kids I worked with. Oh, the kids you worked with. Oh, that's touching. I can't make fun of that. I look like a total jerk. The guy loved children and the comedian just laid into him. All right, I'm gonna let you off the hook, sir. You got a copy guy there. How about you, sir? What do you do for a living? Sales guy. Your sales guy. You're not gonna narrow that down for me at all. <laughs> I appreciate it. That's the thing these days. Nobody really says what they do for a living in this day and age. They try to confuse you with their job descriptions, don't they? They try to make it sound very convoluted. They're like, yeah, big picture. I set up an eco-friendly infrastructure, uh, synchronizing, synthesizing, synthesizing companies and their subsidiaries, creating a bilateral platform or go-between for symbiotic product placement, orchestrating a transmutation, which allows a win-win for the client, then kind of spins it off in other co habitual relationships for their clients. <laughs> That's great, how long have you been unemployed? About five years. <laughs> Sales, you're not gonna tell us what you sell, do you just kinda go door to door? You just go, do you need something? <laughs> I'm the guy to find it for you. I'm friends with a badger. What do you, what do you, uh, what do you sell? You sell what? Raw materials. Too. Raw materials, okay, still. <laughs> Starting to get more of a picture, though, of what this guy's referring to, right? And again, this is what people do. They make their job sound better than it is. You know these people. I own a car wash. No, you own a hose. I'm a ballerina. You dance at a strip bar. I'm an import-export. You sell marijuana to high school kids. I 
sell raw materials. You sell marijuana to high school kids. <laughs> What kind of raw materials do you sell? Nutritional ingredients. Nutritional ingredients? 